Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Plantation where I said that I was going to try a few different things to see if we could get um, anything out of these elementals that I've found. Also, if we can get anything out of the... Oh, what are they called? Out of the... Um, chrono thingies? The ones in the desert, you know, the chrono chronochrons or something. See if we can get anything out of those. Because I need to work out how to make... Do you know what we haven't done either, is try to feed any carrots to the snow bun buns. I wonder what snow bun buns give you. We'll try and feed them some, um, some shoots first. Right, okay. Snow bun bun! Nom nom nom. Probably poop. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go get some carrots, I think, and I'm going to try and feed them to the snow bun bun. The Time Lost Canyon. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to get that and get back up again. Or I could just throw things into the lava, you know, that, that works too. I don't think there is a way to get across there and do that without dying, so I'm gonna just leave that for now. It's there to tempt you, I think. To tempt you into dying. It's very mean. What do you call that? Happy Bun Bun, a Hoptimist. Oh, you're making jokes again. We heard that one already as well. Okay, so carrots. Carrots for snow bun buns. Right, I'm gonna give them a really decent chance uh, with these carrots. I'll also try and feed them ice because um, that might work too. You never know. There's lots of puzzling things out with this though. Puzzling out what their liked item is. Hello Snow Bun Bun. You are a full adult Snow Bun Bun by the looks of you. Let's see what happens when you eat a carrot. You poop, okay. Try another one. Just for science, I need to know. Because sometimes I think you might need to feed them a few things before they reveal whether they're going to poop out something useful or not. Apparently not, though. Okay, I'm gonna feed one of the bun buns some ice now. I get to say, if you don't know what something does, feed it to an animal. So that is what I shall do. So I feed ice to a snow bun bun. It also produces poop. Okay. I will try a couple more, just in case. Ouch. Getting projectiles of ice thrown at me now, which is always nice. Okay, so I'm going to get some more ice from around here. I can see a few bits lying around. And I'm going to take them across to the fire elementals. Well, actually, no, I'm going to shoot them at the elementals to start with. They don't seem to eat them at all. They're not even eating. So I'm going to take those ice and I'm going to take them across to the fire elementals and I'm going to see if I can shoot ice at the fire elementals. Or ikra. As it is apparently called. So I'm going to see if I can do that and if that does anything. It might not, but it's all for science.
Burrock flame pit. I this this lit this flame pit like promised me, absolutely promised me that I would find artifacts. You know, and I have not seen any artifacts. I'm very disappointed. However, it was pretty cool that I found the gases. That was useful. I think that'll be useful in progressing the game. I mean, to be honest, though, if I was an, a precious artifact, you know where I would be? I'd be on top of there. I know I would be. That would be where I would live. Okay, I still haven't managed to get a single one of these flame shrooms actually back home because I keep getting distracted and, like, going off and, and doing things. And, yeah... Let's see how ice interacts with flame elementals. And try not to get killed in the process. Easy, right? Yeah, easy. So I've got them on my hotbar. I'm gonna go boof. And nothing happens. They don't even eat, do they? They don't eat anything. Maybe I just have to avoid it. Let's just try and run up here then. Well, there's loads more of them. Okay, let's um, just run really fast. All oh, right, I see. You just have to try and avoid getting shot while you pick everything up. I see. I see the rules here. Might be the same with the ice actually. It might be that you have to pick it up while avoiding getting shot. Okay, here seems to be a safe place to regenerate my uh, health. So I'm gonna run up between those two. And see if I get shot. Which I will do. But let's see if I can avoid it at all. All right. I have avoided it, seemingly, for now. I'm just going to keep running. I think that was my problem, was I kept trying to interact with them. I thought that was going to end so badly. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Oh. Okay, done. Phew. Okay, there's another one up there. To run past as quickly as possible. Good grief. Okay, it's still trying to shoot at me. Run! Shoot that, run! Safe spot! Safe spot. Okay. That's gonna be another one up there. I hope there's something good at the top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That one's like supercharged. Ah. Ghost shrew? up a ghost room. Can I feed it other shrooms? Oh, of course, my inventory's full. Okay, okay, okay. Running away. I'm actually gonna throw out my carrots. No, no, not my ice, my carrots. Let's see if I can pick up ghost shrooms. 
I can. Oh, how cool is that? I found ghost trooms, guys. Right up the top. And I found curtotrite chunks. No, 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 no. Get off me. as many of these as I can. But I don't want to come up here too often. I'll make a special barrel for them and everything. Although I don't know if mushrooms can go in barrels. I might have to keep them on me. Okay. Uh... Running away! There's a pretty powerful uh, little attack force there. So it just seems like they are basically guarding. Um, I wonder if I could just jump down. Apparently I can. <laughs> Oh no, that one... Uh, okay, which way do I go now? That way... Yeah, it is this way. Okay, cool. That one's not too bad. Once I realised that you pretty much don't really interact with the mushroom... the uh... So I need to get out of the way of it. Uh, once I realised you don't really interact with the elementals, that kind of made a big difference to me. I was like, oh, now I get it. You just go in and nick all the stuff and then run away. I see. However, I think there's a trick to the desert. I'm going to take all this stuff back. But I think there must be a trick to the desert. And there's going to be something that I'll need in there. Probably the other type of um, chunk. I need to go around this side, actually. And I don't entirely know what I'm doing with those things. So, yeah, as I say, I thought that I was going to get something off the elementals by feeding them, but that wasn't the case. It was just that they were there to defend and the things I needed were actually just on the ground, so that's interesting, huh? But it's definitely like a timeless fruit and some kind of... Um, so, some creatures in the desert, and I don't know if maybe I just need to find some more timeless fruit and do more stuff with them, with that, so we'll see. Sometimes the music goes a bit wonky in this, doesn't it? So I love the fact that I have to jump across the big flamey pit to get my goodies home. No, 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 no. Oh. I thought I was gonna die. Sometimes mashing the mashing the space button naturally does work. Yay. Alright, I've gotta get across here now. Really? Oh, I kept my chunks. How am I supposed to get back across there then? Hmm. Growth rot. What on earth is growth rot? Sounds like an area I have not been to yet. But I think I've been to all the areas that I can see. Or maybe it's something from farming then. Because I reckon I've got all the stuff I can get from... But I just have to work out how to get back across that canyon because um, if I can't do that then I can't get the flame mushrooms back. And I need the flame mushrooms for at least one thing that I have to make. I need to get a flame mushroom back. Hmm. 
because I thought I was. There was something. Aye, the solar panel. So I can make a solar panel, get duplicate items, but I also need a container for that. And a container takes that growth rot stuff. Hmm. I need to work out how the farm works. I definitely think that that's the next thing to do. Because I have not managed to work it out yet. Can I kill you? Go in your barrel. So it needs to be fertilised first. Let's see if we can make some fertiliser out of a pellet and poop. Do you not have any poop? Must have lost it all when I died. Oh, nightmare. Okay. Let's just go gather some stalks and feed them to rabbits. We'll get some poop very, very quickly doing that. Argoo! I get two every time I pick one up as well, which is pretty useful. Okay, that should be enough for fertilizer. I think it's two to one. I think it's one pellet, two poops, and I get a fertilizer. Right, so fertilizer craft. And I'm gonna try and put that on my farm and see if that does anything. Oh, it made it fertilized. Fantastic. Fertilized, yes. Material. Uh, someone said they put puna stalks on it. So I shall try that. Two puna stalks. And they, they went in. And I got out two berries. How very interesting. Let's see what happens if I plant a berry, shall we? Oh, I'm going to need loads of this stuff now. Um, okay, I'm going to put these berries away. Oh, away in the container. I've got some pellets already. I'm going to just go and make a whole bunch more pellets because I think I'm going to need quite a lot of them. And I think I'm going to need a lot of these um, puna stalks as well. So I'm just going to get loads of them. And we'll make some more barrels too. I'm really happy that the uh, Kurtrite chunk, that they stayed, but I'm a little bit um, unhappy about losing my ghost mushrooms for, for a simple fall bit of a shame. I wonder if you'll ever get like a teleporter back. Maybe that will be some kind of teleporter or something. That would be really useful if that was what it was. I don't know, I've got 500 seconds left on puna stalks and seeds. Do you know what? I'm going to go get some seeds because that'll give me some extra pellets for not too much of a, an effort. So I quite like that exchange system. It's quite nice. I don't think I'm going to need too many farm plots because it doesn't seem too much of a, a growth time involved in that. It's just you, you grow them and that's it, you know? So you can grow them as fast as you can fertilise the soil. So it's like, well, it's going to take me longer to make fertiliser than it will be to actually gain what I need out of it. So, yeah. That's my two seeds. I suppose that makes it feel a little bit less like... Um, it makes it feel a little bit less like lightning. Uh, what am I saying? A little bit less like farming is what I'm trying to say. I was saying that and I was, trying, I was thinking about the lightning creature. And I was kind of thinking about the power shards and, and things and whether I could fill them up with energy. And so then, of course, I was thinking that while I was trying to talk about my fields. And lightning came out of my mouth when farming should have come out of my mouth. See, this is what happens when you think about things that you are not talking about. Okay, so let's give seeds to this thing. Um, 
to give the Buna stalks, and then I need to go find another one. You'll do. Okay, so I've got a bonus there, but like, what did I get? Oh, there is money in this. Right, okay, so I've got money for that. I would have rather had pellets, but never mind. I wonder what the money can be used for then. Maybe there'll be a buying station at some point. Let's grab these and we'll grab the mushrooms and we'll be able to make our own pellets. So we won't need the stupid station. There we go. See one more on top of there as well. That should be enough to make about four pellets. And every time we do a little round of here, we'll get, get enough to do four pellets. That's not so bad. And then I'll go do another little round and I'll feed the rabbits puna stalks so we get some poop as well. Yay, I used the right button to bring up the menu on the spaceship. This is a big thing for me. This is a good day. So, pellets. Crafted four pellets. We already have four in the pellet box. Actually, we only have three. We must have used one for fertilizer earlier. Definitely experimenting with the farms is a good thing, though. I could go get the carrots and stuff, but at the moment I don't really need... I could. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll go and get carrots for them. Because there's a chance it might drop a pellet and that's a bit more useful than just poops. Also, they'll be happy. I, I like making the bun buns happy. Happy, healthy bun buns. With plenty of vitamin A. Assuming that these carrots are in any way like earth carrots. Mm. Thought I would maybe find a few more than that. I clearly haven't. I'm trying to see if there's any different, um, oh, there's a few more. I thought there's a couple more around here. Get off my carrot! Get off my carrot! That's my carrot! Okay, you can have it. But yeah, I'm trying to see if I can see any different areas other than the ones I've visited, and I can't see them, so I imagine that that's it all the biomes there are at the moment and I've pretty much unlocked all of the secrets of those except for working out what's going on in the desert and that's going to be interesting oh yeah I needed poops rabbits oh rabbits nom 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 Oh, I didn't want that rat, that carrot, you ungrateful rabbit. Probably because it went nowhere near. Ah! Eat that one then. Okay, that one dropped a pellet, unfortunately. I don't have any room for pellets. I don't think things despawn too quickly, though. You sometimes get a poop, but I'm going to need to probably f uh, feed them more Puna stalks. If I want. No, actually, okay, that's fine. Sometimes you get poops. 
and sometimes you don't. That should be enough to make a bit of fertilizer. I'm just going to put away these puna stalks so that I can go pick up the pellets. They're too valuable to waste. There's just two. Thought there might have been three, but I'm not seeing a third one. That's fine. But look at gift horse in the mouth. Right. Fertilizer. I crafted a couple there and I wanted to see what happened if I put certain materials in. So I'm going to fertilize this field. I'm going to see what happens if I put Kurt right chunks in if, or if I even can. Yes, I can. What happens then? Oh yes, this is what happens. I get the growth rot. Aha. So that's how you get that. And that is how you make a container. Oh, and you need 50 of the, uh, 50 coins as well. Two, two, um... Alright, maybe it's something different then. Maybe there's growth rot and there's... Oh yes, it's like a whiter one. Hmm. I wonder if that's from the snow biome. Maybe I need to pop back there and have a, a little look around. It's either that or I find it in the desert somewhere. Don't know. Don't know at all. Flame shard. It's a blue. Hmm. Mini sale station. Sell items. Or crusher. Takes ore chunks and with a little power can compress them into ore shards. Those must be the ore shards, I guess. I think I should maybe concentrate on trying to get a solar panel, um, but I do need a container for that and I need to work out what those other the other things are because they're definitely not growth rot okay I think guys we need to make more barrels definitely more barrels so more barrels means more puna stalks and then I'll have to work out whether the um, curterite chunks Whether they go in. I mean, I, I could try all sorts of things. I could try growing berries. I can try growing um, ghost mushrooms and fire mushrooms and all that sort of thing as well. Try growing ice. See what that does. But yeah, at the moment, definitely more barrels. Uh, so let's put these. Oh, what can I even put away now? There's nothing, nothing that I can put away. Let's just start throwing stuff on the floor. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Right, there's another barrel. I think I'm gonna start like putting them in behind. I could put things on the other side, but I'm gonna need room for my tier two stuff as well. So I'm going to put my growth rot in that one. Two of those. Pick my mushroom back up. Right, I think next I will try and get some more Puna stalks. And uh, maybe make a couple more barrels actually. 
find some more. Where's this all gone? Where's all the Punish dogs gone? So yeah, if I make some more barrels before the end of the episode, then if we fight, we can empty the inventory out into those barrels and not be so concerned about what happens if I die. It's good to know where certain things are. Um, but I think I'm going to have to try crossing that canyon in both directions a few times just to make sure that I can do it. Hey, Mr. Pooh. There's nothing worse than going on a whole massive great big adventure. Actually, I need to put some things away again. Never have enough room in this blooming inventory. But yeah, definitely practice getting across that can canyon so I can get the ghost mushrooms and the fire mushrooms back. Because if I can't do that, then I've got problems. So anyway, fertilizer, container. Barrel, I need a barrel. Where is it? There we are. A metal barrel. Saw so even more items in these super compressed barrels. A drop-off point. Set up a waypoint for your bots to drop off goods to. I need ice, I need ice, I need ice right now. I need ice, I need ice, I need, ice. I need it right now. I need it right now, right, right now. So if I can have a drop-off point of some description, I'll see how they work, but that might mean that when I go across the big old um, fiery death pit, it won't matter so much. My bots can take stuff across. So we'll have to see how these work. We'll have to try them out, but... Wow. Oh, don't shoot at me. Ouch. Ouch! I just wanted ice! And you're shooting at me! You're so mean! So we're gonna collect this ice and then I think I'm gonna probably have to end the episode there. Alright, I've got my two pieces of ice. Let's run! Let's get out of here! It's too dangerous! It's far too dangerous, guys! Let's get out of here. So... Hopefully, we can make these drop-off points and that will allow me to send stuff back across the canyon without being, um, so that if I die then it's not such an issue. Because it's a bit of a hard jump back across. It's fine go getting across there in the first place, but you can't really jump back. And I don't know if that's by design to make you think about these drop-off points. Probably. So I am going to end the episode here. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do please leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more uh, Star Plantation, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, I have leveled up. And keep being awesome. <laughs>